Yes, let's compare my y predicted to the actual y value. So I'm going to add a column in my data frame uh, it's called y predicted. And so that is my y predicted values. And I want to calculate uh, an absolute error. Why don't we look at that? So apps error. And that is the absolute values of the error. And uh, let's see how that looks. I misspell predicted. And of course, I copy pasted that. So. Okay, so it gives it's giving me some trouble. Um, let's see what the problem is. Is it this one? Yes, so that has some problems with why predicted. I wonder if the problem is. Um, let me try to, it has a problem with y. Okay, so now that works. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure why that did it, but it certainly got rid of the error. Okay, let's look at. Yes. Okay, so you can see here um, for the first student, our model predicted uh, a value of 0.39. So that's right. That's closer to zero than it is to one. So that would be a correct prediction. Um, same here, that's correct. Same here, zero, that's correct. Here it's larger uh, than point, uh, 0.5, so that's correct, that's correct. Okay, so what we need to, uh, it would be good to count how many, how many we get wrong. So actually, so we can do that by looking at the absolute error, right? And so if the absolute error is larger than a half, then we're going to make a wrong prediction. So let's let's do that. So we do that in pandas uh, by finding the location uh, where the absolute error is greater than 0 0.5. Okay, so yeah, so there are, how many are there? Uh, shape. So I guess there, there are eight. Zero, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, eight. So you can see here, right, that's, um, that should be zero, but it's in fact, well, it's closer to one than it is to zero. and. Uh, the same for all of these. Okay, so that's not, so out of, um, well, how many did we have? Uh, let me just, that should be n. So 100, okay. So, um, so we can, so eight out of 100, that's actually, that's, that's very good. Let's actually, let's have a look um, at this. Right, by plotting the decision boundary. Uh, so, so it's the decision boundary is basically if uh, is for values of x hidden that is between negative and positive. So obviously, so that's our x hidden. Uh, if we set that to zero, that should give us the boundary. And so we can, if we set that to zero, we can plot this for our y value in terms of x, right? So, so we want to make a line, uh, a line that looks like this. 
right? So everything here above here has a positive x hidden. Everything below here has a negative x hidden. Let's go do that. So I want uh, my scatter plot here. Let's make sure that works. Okay, and so now, um, yeah, I want to have my decision boundary. And so that is W0 W1 times X uh, which is my data. Uh, let's see that should work. Let's let's try this. Um, divided by W2. And then I want to plot it as a line. Um, and that's my x as my x value and decision boundary as my y. Okay, so that doesn't look good. Uh, there's some, there's something I don't. There's not a line, and there's something weird down here. So let's see. Uh, let me just plot the decision boundary. Ah, uh, okay. So, so I get my line, but it goes from zero to one. And, and so, okay. So the problem is that in this plot here, right? I am using the original data, where the exam scores goes from a hundred. Uh, from 0 to 100. And here I'm using x, which I scale, that goes from 0 to 1. So the first thing I need to do is, oops, I have to use the original x values so that they match the plot I make up here. And of course, now the, the W's, uh, the W's are too large. So, but not all the W's, right? It's just, yeah, so the, the W's were obtained with X values that goes from zero to one. Okay, so, but the X values are actually much larger. So the W values need to be much smaller. But I don't want to touch the bias, right? Because the bias was given a one, right? That has nothing to do with the scaling of the x coordinates. Okay, so I need to take this guy here and divide by a hundred, and I need to take this guy here and divide by a hundred. Okay, fingers crossed. Okay, so that didn't work. Oh, because I'm still using the X here. Okay, eh. so you really have to be careful with these things. So that is my exam one. Ah, okay, there we go. Excellent. So, yeah, so okay, so let's see. So with a straight line, right, we obviously, we can't get everything right. So I get these four wrong, uh, and these two wrong, so that's six. And then I definitely get that one wrong, that's seven. And it, I, probably, I probably get that one wrong as well. So that is the, that is the eight, um, uh, that is the eight values here that I get wrong. Right, so but with a straight line, that I think that is really the best you can do. So yeah, this worked. We taught, uh, we machine learned how to predict whether someone gets into college based on the scores of the two entrance exams.